hello friends how are you all this is lecture road and welcome back to my channel so in this video i will be discussing like what exactly i do on a day-to-day -day basis as a devops engineer so i'm currently working as a devops engineer in india and i'm having a total of approximately 3.2 years of experience so yeah, i will be uh, sharing with you guys what exactly i do on a day-to-day -day basis so uh uh, on a daily basis like my day starts usually at 10 10 30 in the morning and it goes till evening 7 to 7 30 i work uh, monday to friday and like if i like start telling you what exactly i'm doing so i, I log in usually 10 30 10 as i told and usually i start my day with checking emails like uh, if there is any email which uh, uh, requires some attention from my end then i basically uh, go and check, look into that or if any email is from there from my manager or from my client or maybe from my colleagues so I usually uh, start my day uh, start my day with that because that is I believe it's very important so communication should be there first of all and then you need to uh, focus on the rest of the stuff so this is how I start and then after I'm done with my emails after I'm done grabbing the coffee and then I go to Jira so I basically we basically use Jira as a ticketing tool and uh, so I uh, go on checking the tickets like if uh, if any ticket is uh, uh, requiring action from my end so I go into that ticket uh, look into that if any action is pending from my end into that ticket I complete that and next comes like on a daily basis we attend meetings so there are a couple of calls which are scheduled almost on a daily basis i would say so we had a call with our uh, managers colleagues what exactly that is basically a scrum call so uh, what exactly you are doing what is your task if you are facing any impediments or errors so we discuss all that stuff with our team members so now uh, i would say let's come to the uh, main point so what exactly i'm doing technically so technically i would say like uh, it depends on the situation sometimes uh, like if I give you a uh, general overview and if I generalize it then I would say so technically we do uh, some deployments if there is any ticket like you know to do some deployment on any environment like dev environment staging environment so we do these type of deployments and apart from deployments we also uh, make changes to a code so we uh, use terraform as an infrastructure as code tool so if there is a requirement to update any terraform code then we update that code we update any python related code also if that is being used in any of our pipelines we do that and apart from that like any updation you can select many uh, updating the uh, kubernetes manifest files like today only i would say i was updating some manifest files to uh, and then some functionality so that was basically <coughs> pdb pod disruption budget i was adding in the kubernetes manifest file and horizontal pod autoscaler i was adding so these things i was doing just right now before this video and apart from that doing some deployments as i told uh, uh, maintaining aws infrastructure adding lifecycle policies in aws so these type of requests we work upon and like since if you go to any company join as a devops engineer don't assume on the first day itself like you will be doing things from scratch and uh, you will be uh, <coughs> i'm sorry you will be asked to design an infrastructure or architecture from scratch so that will never happen so each and every company has its own infrastructure on different platforms and different uh, technologies i would say they are using so on first day or maybe in the first couple of months they won't expect you to develop some things from scratch at your first <coughs> your first responsibility should be like to understand the infrastructure like uh, what infrastructure is currently a uh, company having and how they are how the business is running so all these things you need to understand first and then you need to start monitoring that infrastructure so this is how like uh, you slowly and gradually grows it's not like that you have to like do everything and from scratch so it doesn't works like that so uh, this is the like main thing which i would say which every guy who's a fresher or starting to uh, switch into devops role should know so your first uh, responsibility to understand the infrastructure how the business flows and then move on gradually 
so even i would not say i'm not i'm like uh, uh, building things from scratch on a daily basis yeah do i have built things from scratch i have built uh, many complex pipelines from scratch with help of my team i would say but uh, that is not something that we are doing on a daily basis that purely depends on the requirement so if there is a business requirement to build something from scratch that is already not there then definitely you can grab that opportunity and the other point which i want to highlight which is related to this context only if you like are a fresher or maybe if your aim is to learn learn new things on a uh, daily basis then it's your moral and prime responsibility to grab that new opportunities to speak to your colleagues to speak to your managers your seniors like they should give you that opportunity and when they will give you this is the second question and the answer to this is they will give you when they find when they believe in you when they know like uh, you have that skill set and capabilities that you can perform this task without any downtime or without any disruption to the business so this is how uh, you have to approach and communicate with your seniors and develop your technical skill side by side as well so now uh, let's come back to the point so like uh, as i told uh, i usually uh, look into the tickets emails attend some meetings and then we usually take our uh, like uh, uh, daily tickets like uh, what i told is uh, it's like uh, yeah so it's like the same so we usually spend our day working on the tickets and the tasks which are assigned to us so we usually work on that so this is how every uh, engineer software engineer developer devops engineer work the, the difference is with respect to the task with respect to the tools and tech stacks which in which he or she is working so that uh, is a major difference so i hope this video will definitely help you if you need uh, like other videos Uh, part two of this video, then please do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely try to create other video that will be part two, and this will be part one video. And I hope it will help you guys who are planning to uh, make a career in DevOps. And yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for watching, and please let me know in the comment section if you uh, need the other part. Thank you. Bye bye.